pound for pound strong or someone in the world, Rhiannon Lovelace, welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's episode, now everybody knows the top British girls, the girls that have been causing some serious damage over the last few years and really pushing the sport forward. But what this episode is about is to highlight the up-and-comers, the girls to watch, the ones whose names you will definitely be hearing over the next few years. So first up on my list is lightweight Siobhan Holdridge. Now she was very very impressive. I actually met her for the first time in uh, 2019. She did a run through comp at my gym and pretty much from the first event we knew that this girl was going to be talented. Big background in ollie lifting so the overhead technique was beautiful but she had the fire, she had the power, she was really really impressive. She actually went on to place fifth at England Strong or something this year. Now I think we kind of need to just explain that England Strongest Woman for the lightweight category this year was absolutely stacked. I don't think it's ever been as stacked as it was this year. The top four girls were all top level international girls. You know, you had Kate Connolly, she came fourth at World Strongest Woman winning events. You have Farah Fonseca, she's a World Strongest Woman finalist with a pro card. Then you've got Chloe Brennan and Shannon Clifford who podium near podium at the amateur Arnold Championships. So these girls are really, really top level girls. So to finish fifth behind them was very, very impressive. She performed really, really well all day. I'm really excited to see what she's going to be able to do this year. Let's check out the videos. Here she is, there's Shiv. Now first I want to show again, because um, the background in ollie lifting, the technique is lovely. And um, well over 200 pounds. This was for the pound for pound World Strongest Women comp that she did. She placed really, really highly in this. Again, it just shows what she's capable of doing. Next up, I want to show what she's doing moving-wise. I mean, look at the speed she shifts with those sandbags. She definitely earned her place at England's and Brits and World Strongest Women this year. Really exciting. And the last one, obviously, I love it when the girls deadlift PB. This is a big deadlift PB for Shiv. She's worked really, really hard on her deadlift. We should see some big numbers coming from her this year. So the next girl on our list is a middleweight strong woman called Rachel Greathead. She has had a fantastic year, again relatively new to the scene. She did the first qualifiers at our gym chaos and again it was um, it was pretty obvious from the word go that this girl was, she had something, she had fire behind her, she had some strength behind her. She did actually go on to win England's Strongest Woman this year. Fortunately, Britons couldn't go ahead, but she is the standing middleweight England's Strongest Woman. I think we're going to see some really, really big things coming from this girl. There she is with her trophies. Yeah, look good. So first off is the Farmers event that she actually did in the Northern Qualifiers. Again, look at the speed that this girl could move at. She really, really earned her place. And I think she kind of showed everybody at this point that she was going to be a contender for sure. Next on we've got a little training video, um, I presume this is for the stone to shoulder event that we've got at this year's qualifier, she's obviously coming in all guns blazing, you know, two years into this sport she's already standing England strongest woman. And the last video we've got of Rachel is obviously one of my favourites, big stone load, 120 stone load. There are really not many girls that can do that and there really aren't many girls that can do that in their first two years. So I'm really, really excited to see the damage that she does at Brits and hopefully she is either qualified or is going to qualify for Worlds because girls like this we need at Worlds. She's really, really impressive. Well done Rachel. So the next girl on my list is flying the flag for Scotland, it is heavyweight Izzy Tate. Again, not a ton of time in the sport, but she's already causing some real, real damage. There's one thing you don't do, it's underestimate a Scottish girl, and Izzy Tate is at the front of that. I actually competed against her myself this year at Edinburgh Strongest Woman. She is very, very tough to beat. She's got a load of power behind her, and I'm really excited to see how she does at Brits this year, and hopefully she's going to fly the flag for Scotland at World Strongest Woman. Let's have a look what she looks like in training. Here she is, there's Izzy. Now the first video we've got is actually from where I competed against her myself at Edinburgh Strongest Woman. Now you can imagine the speed of these stones. As a competitor, I'm stood there going, that's real fast. That's some fast stones. <laughs> it really did. She just manhandled those stones. It was really, really impressive. Right up to 110, I think they were. Um, so it's really not far from what they have at Worlds and that was really impressive to see. The next big lift for Izzy is obviously her deadlift. She is capable of repping at 200 kilos. I think she's one of the only girls in Scotland that can do that. Really, really impressive. 
And the last bit is she is definitely one of the only girls that can move with over 300 kilo yoke. I think this is 307, really impressive. Next girl on my list is all the way over from Ireland. She is heavyweight Gemma Moore. Now, I first met this girl, I competed against her myself um, in one of the deadlift comps that we had over in Ireland. And she was, um, I think she'd been in a suit literally a couple of times at that point. I think it was, you know, you could count it on one hand how many times she'd been in a suit. And she pulled a new Irish record for the biggest deadlift ever done in Ireland. 246 after being in the suit a couple of times and training a couple of months. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Needless to say, she's gone on and up that record. She now pulls 265. You know, it's one of the biggest deadlifts in the whole of Britain. Um, and to do it with months of training, you know, she's still learning. She's still making huge, huge progress. She is under an athlete called Matthew McKeegan from Ireland. He's one of the only boys in Ireland to pull 400. So they, them together should produce something really, really special over the next few years. Can't wait to see how she gets on. Let's have a look at her in action. There she is, there's her and her coach, Matthew from MK Fitness. Now, the first video is the deadlift that I actually met her from, the 246 for the biggest deadlift on in Ireland. Now, again, girls are considered talented if they pull 140 within their first few months of training. This is over 240 for the biggest deadlift in Ireland. Absolutely crazy. Now, this video kind of shows that she isn't just a deadlifter, she is coming for strong women into whole. Obviously, we know that deadlifts definitely help, but she's not a one-trick pony. She's working the events really, really hard. Her overhead's looking really good as well. I'm really excited to see how she's going to get on at Island Strong or something later this year. And the last video that we've got is the current deadlift uh, record for her. It is the 265 for the biggest in Ireland. Now, this is a deadlift that currently stands. Again, after months of training to be representing your country like this. It's really exciting to see what the future holds for her. Now, the last girl on my list, again, so we all know the top British heavyweights. Andrea Thompson, Donna Moore, Annabelle Chapman, they have done phenomenal things to push the sport forward for Britain. But one of the girls that's coming up from the wings, and I think he's going to cause some serious damage over the next few years, is Lucy Underdown. Now, if you've been a hermit and you've not been on the internet, you will have missed her 290 kilo deadlift. 290 to equal the biggest deadlift that's ever been done by a strong woman. She did that during lockdown. She just did that as part of her training. Absolutely phenomenal. There's definitely a few girls in Britain that are going to break the 300 kilo barrier pretty soon and if Lucy is not at the front of that I will be really really surprised. She's also very talented at overhead, her moving events are really really good so I'm really excited to see what she's going to do over the next few years. British level but also the damage that she's going to cause at World Strongest Women. Let's see what she looks like in action. There she is, there's Lucy, had to include Pop and Millie as well obviously. So first video here is the 290 the deadlift that made me squeal when i first saw it really really exciting again if she's capable of pulling out these kind of numbers this is equal to the heaviest deadlift ever done by a strong woman she's capable of doing this during lockdown relatively early in her career what does this girl have in her you know i seriously think we're talking at least 700 pounds i really do think that lucy's going to be at the forefront of deadlifts over the next few years and again said she wasn't just a one-trick pony. She is not just a deadlifter. Her overhead is progressing really, really well as well. She's recently put 110 overhead, reps at 100 kilos. Again, she's going to be ready to cause some damage with the top girls later in the year. Really excited to see. And if you thought she could just log press and deadlift, here is 130 farmers. So not far from the deadlift world record, not far from the farmers world record. It's going to be really, really exciting to see what Lucy can do later in the year. So there it is, that's today's episode on the up and coming, the ones to watch from Britain. Now I'm going to post all of their Instagrams so you can give those girls a follow. Thanks for watching and keep your eyes out for those girls causing some serious damage this year.